What's up guys, Ben Melican here from Melican Fishing and today we are going to talk about something I am very proud of and obviously that is my state of Nebraska and more specifically the different types of fisheries we have in Nebraska. You know when you think of the state of Nebraska you don't necessarily think of a really great destination place to go travel to and fish to but uh, something I am proud of is there's so many different types of fisheries in our state and despite the fact that we don't have any giant reservoirs that are really sprawling and have had a bunch of giant fishing tournaments at them, we actually have some really, really solid fishing and a really giant variety of different fisheries. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys all about the fishing that's available in the state of Nebraska. I'm a bass fisherman personally, so we're going to talk about all different types of fish that are the state's really known for, but there's going to be an emphasis on bass fishing because that's what I do. And really, I've been lucky enough to fish every different type uh, of major fishery in our state this year, something I'm very, very proud of. So you'll see some clips playing while I'm talking about those. Those are actual clips from this year fishing those types of fisheries. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so the biggest, most prominent fishery in our our state is on the east and northeast border of Nebraska. That is the Missouri River. You know, south of Sioux City, Nebraska, all the way down to the bottom of the state, it's one of the fastest rivers in the world because it was channelized by the Corps of Engineers, I believe, sometime uh, in the middle of the 20th century, I think 40s or 50s, and so it's super fast running water. The main feature here is definitely the wing dams and the eddies. Now behind the wing dams, it would present a good smallmouth fishery, uh, but really the water stays too muddy down here for any smallmouth to really, really like that. There are fish there, uh, but our main fish in those areas are catfish, and specifically flathead and blue catfish get giant in this stretch of the river. The state record came from the Missouri River, which was a blue catfish over 100 pounds. Now, up north, the further up you get, uh, we no longer have a channelized river in the Missouri River, and that gets me excited because that is where the awesome smallmouth and largemouth fishing is on this river. Whenever you can come to a stretch of the river that has a giant stretch of riprap rocks and docks mixed in, and it's super, super clean up there, it's a lot more sandy soil, that's when it's an awesome smallmouth bass fishery. It's a really, really great place to go. They're not difficult to catch. You fish the current, you catch them on top water tubes, your typical smallmouth stuff, and then you can work into the backwaters. And some of those faster current banks for largemouth bass, really one of my favorite places to fish for them in the entire state. All right, so from the most prominent fishery in our state on the east side of the state, the Missouri River, we're going to move just a little bit west of that, and, and I'm going to call these lakes, they're, they're pretty much the entire eastern third of the state of Nebraska. It's all these man-made little reservoirs, and, and so most of these reservoirs are anywhere from 10 uh, to 500 acres in size, but this is what I've really cut my teeth fishing. It's what we have a lot of in my area where I've grown up. Really all these are are dammed off creeks that create these lakes, and you know the, the main characteristics of these lakes, they're, they're usually shallower. These are lakes that are, are shallower than 25 feet deep at the deepest point. They have creek arms, um, some have standing timber, but almost every single one of them has riprap jetties, stuff like that. The Game and Parks has also made some really good offshore habitat, so I know a lot of you guys from my Millican Fishing Channel that see me out catching fish out deep, those are usually off brush piles and rock piles out deep. So those are the, where the largemouth hang out. And the state also stocks crappie, uh, bluegill, and channel catfish and almost every single one of those, as well as muskie and a few of those too, which I have caught a couple recently. So not a destination place to catch big muskie, but there are a few of them in our fisheries. All right, so moving out west is a very, very unique set of fisheries that are referred to around here as the Interstate 80 Sand Pit Lakes. And so what that is, I think there's probably 15 or 20 different lakes all the way along the interstate uh, that goes from eastern Nebraska all the way out west, starting out about a little bit before Grand Island and then working all the way to the Colorado border. The Platte River goes along the interstate, or I should say the interstate goes along the Platte River. And, and what that presents is all these flooded uh, sand areas or areas where they've taken sand out, you know, sand pits where they where they process sand and gravel have been taken out of these areas. So some of them are super, super deep 
but the defining characteristic of these is a lot of them have really good water quality and they actually don't get fished a lot. You know, another great feature is you can make a milk run of these and fish a bunch in a day. Almost every one of these lakes is loaded with largemouth bass. A couple of them have smallmouth in them and a lot of them have weed growth in the summer so any type of topwater lure you can fish the edges of the grass uh, or even fish them out a little bit deeper and catch some really really nice bass there's been some giant fish caught in these and i've caught several bass over five pounds in these you know a lot of people also go fish for catfish there panfish of course too they're really great for all those different lakes all right so moving out west you know the the middle third and western third of the state are known for big sprawling man-made reservoirs so these aren't giant reservoirs but almost every single one of them is about 3,000 acres all the way up to lake mcconaughey which i believe is about 40,000 acres so they are good sized lakes and for the most part they are big wide open areas they don't have a lot of structure in them but they're deeper lakes you know up to 100 200 feet deep uh, but these lakes are excellent walleye fisheries in nebraska and south dakota north dakota of course are known for walleye and this is where everyone that's serious about walleye fishing in our state goes out west and really spends a lot of time there you can catch the biggest walleye of your life you know i think every single one of those big reservoirs you have an opportunity to catch a fish over 10 pounds it's just awesome habitat for walleyes because there is deeper water there's tons of shad uh, other types of alewife bait fish in those lakes and so a lot of people go there for that reason you know a couple of them like uh, Merritt and elwood also have giant pike and musky in them too so the anybody looking to catch a trophy pike or musky those are two options for you and what really doesn't get talked about much in those lakes is that lakes like johnson and all that canal system out there really present some really good smallmouth bass fishing any type of riprap areas in those lakes also really attracts smallmouth bass they're not usually a trophy size smallmouth bass but you can really go and have a lot of fun with those smallmouth uh, in those areas and really the largemouth have taken off in a lot of these lakes too you know Merritt just hosted a state championship tournament for high school fishermen and it took over 17 pounds uh, to win this tournament you know and same goes for Elwood Swanson they all have really good largemouth bass in those lakes so there's one more different type um, of set of lakes, I guess we can call it, that we have in our state of Nebraska, and that's way out west. I was actually out there a couple weeks ago. It's a group of lakes on a refuge called the Valentine National Wildlife Refuge. And if you love solitude and really getting away from civilization and everything uh, that comes along with all the technology and everything these days, this is the place for you. So what the Valentine National Wildlife Refuge has, I believe there's about 15 or 20 lakes on there and you can fish 8 or 10 of them, but they range anywhere from a couple acres all the way up, I think 500 acres is the biggest lake, but they're all shallow grassy lakes. So obviously with the shallow grass, awesome awesome largemouth bass habitat. We caught a ton of fish on frogs, flipping swim jigs when we were up there. And you can also catch some really, really big northern pike. There's a couple lakes in there that have become a trophy northern pike destination. Of course, these lakes also have your typical catfish, crappie, bluegill. But like I said, it's a great place if you want to take a child or your family out to get away from everything. It's like an hour from the closest town. The closest town, Valentine, is not necessarily a big city. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful area out there and a great place to go catch some fish. And the fish don't get fished for that much. So it's, a, it's really a good place to go to get someone hooked on fishing and to go stick a bunch of fish yourself and get away from things. You know, I feel like Nebraska is a state that's definitely not a destination for a lot of people to go fish. And so I often ask the question, you know, what do you fish in Nebraska? What lakes are there even? I've never even heard of a lake that's there. Uh, we get asked that a ton here, so hopefully the video today I helped clear a little bit of that up. You know, I'll always travel out of the state to go fish different types of bodies of water to really get some awesome footage and fish for different species and stuff, but I'll always have a soft spot for these Nebraska fisheries. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit about Nebraska fishing today. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. I'm out of here.